Well hi there pluckers, I'll have a sore thing here again with you. Thanks for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is in uh, uh, sort of response to a request I've had uh, for from one of my viewers called Jay Cubbin, uh, who's asked for a, a number by the Verve called uh, Bittersweet Symphony. Okay, now although it's not really uh, uh, normally associated with the acoustic guitar, um, obviously it can be played on the acoustic guitar. So I'm going to try and show you how it could be played on a single acoustic guitar uh, to give a, a reasonable uh, you know, version of it. Um, and uh, obviously if you've got two guitars, even better, because then you know, one of the, uh, the second guitar could play the iconic uh, sort of... If you want to know what that is, that's very simple. It's uh, uh, <coughs> ninth fret of the second string, seventh fret of the second string, and back again to the ninth fret of the second string. Okay, and then we go up to the tenth fret of the second string, down to the eighth, sorry, seventh fret of the second string, back to the tenth fret of the second string. Okay. So it's okay, and then basically we do the tenth fret of the first string to the tenth fret of the second string, and back again to the tenth fret of the first string, and then we go down to the ninth fret of the first string to the tenth fret of the second string, and back to the ninth fret of the second uh, first string. So it's like. Uh, That's, that's the iconic riff, okay, which is usually obviously played by violins and such like, or a synth or something. Uh, anyway, let's uh, move to it. Um, the chords themselves, the way I see, uh, there are different people playing it slightly different, but the way I, I hear it and the way I, I prefer to play it myself is, uh, start, I mean standard tuning by the way, okay, so E major, B minor 7th, which is a B minor with little pinky off, so you've got a third string is uh, uncovered, so to speak, it's just barred. So you bar on the second fret and uh, you play like an A minor shape with the rest of your fingers and but take the pinky off, okay? It should sound like that, okay? And then you've got a D suspended. Uh, Second, second, I think they call it or something. It's anyway, it's D shape with the top string open. So the first string is open; it's not not fretted. So you've only got the two fingers of the D. Okay, second fret, third string, third fret to second string. Okay, so, so that, and then basically an A major. However you play it, well, you, some people play it like that, some people play it like that. Okay whatever which way you play. So you've got the four chords there, you've got E major, B minor 7th, D suspended 2nd, uh, and A. Okay, and um, so the, the actual, uh, you know, the way it goes, it starts off with uh, obviously the, the iconic riff to which you can just play the chords underneath it like that, because it's the same chords all the way through the song. Okay. Okay. But if you've only got one guitar, obviously you can't be up here, can you? <laughs> so uh, the way I would suggest you play it is you play it an open, by open six string, and then holding an E shape. You can just play the first fret of the uh, third string, open second string, back to the first fret of the third string again. Okay. Okay. And then play the B minor shape. And just hit the first three strings. And then 
So you hit the first, uh, well, the first three strings, so the fifth string, the fourth string, and the third string. I mean, sorry, not the first three strings. <laughs> and then play, so you strum those holding the B7 minus, B minus 7 shape, play the, five, the strings 5, 4, and 3. And then uh, you play the. So. And then you play the fourth uh, fret of the fourth string on its own. And then, oh, oh, and then play the third string on its own. So you're playing you're playing that note effectively. So, okay, so you play those three together, and then that note, and then that note which is held by the bar, okay? And then change to the D suspended second, whatever it's called, <laughs> uh, and play the emphasize the D note, the fourth string open, and then go down. See, so and you go down to the second string from, and then to the third string, and back to the second string again. So, that, so you strum down from four to two, play the third string, and then the second string again. So so far we've got. Finally, the A major chord, play from from the fifth string down to the second string, and then play this third string and the second string again. So, so, okay, so the whole thing is. Play that you know three or four times and then start singing and just and then just play the chords don't don't worry about the uh, picking the the um, the iconic bits out and you play that in between the words so it would go something like this so you play you play the the riff a few times Now play the riff. So if you're on your own, that's what I would suggest you do. And if you obviously got another person with you, they could be playing the, the riff up here, you know. Okay, as well, or instead of <laughs> you playing it down here, okay? But uh, probably, hopefully, together it would sound even better. If you were playing it down here and the other guitarist was playing it up here as well, even better. Anyway. Anyway, that's my suggestion for this number. It's it's uh, not overly difficult, um, so uh, hope that helps. If not, let me know and I'll uh, re-examine it. <laughs> or tell me what you're having trouble with it. <laughs> with okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Listen. See you in the next video. Bye for now.